Hi, my name is Daphne Chisholm, and I've been suffering with diabetes since I was 19 years old. My life was very limited. I had ulcers on both my feet. My blood pressure was out of control, was always high. She's a juvenile diabetic, and she just was always, you know, taking insulin. You always had to watch her diet and stuff like that, but it was just part of our, our routine and part of the routine in the marriage. Type 1 diabetes is a autoimmune disorder that affects the pancreas. In patients that don't have a working pancreas, the blood sugar is high, but it can't put out the amount of insulin that is required. It affects many organs. It causes plaques to form in the arteries going to your heart. It affects the blood vessels to the kidney, and people very often develop kidney failure. People really don't think about what it's like not to have an organ that functions well. But when your pancreas doesn't function well, it's something that people are thinking about every minute of the day. Daphne was definitely end-stage kidney disease, what we call diabetic nephropathy. This means that patients' kidney functions are almost completely uh, gone, and they can only survive by receiving dialysis or uh, kidney transplantation. Seeing her deal with that and seeing the effects of it, um, it was difficult. There's not much you can do. You can't go anywhere. Your diet is very uh, limited, restricted. It's hard to communicate, it's hard to go to church. It's hard to do your, your, your normal stuff. She started getting sick and there was hospital stays and there were you know, extended periods of, of times of her being in the hospital apart from myself and, and our daughter, our youngest daughter. My daughter Ariel was eight years old at the time. We tried our best to, to tell her to walk her through it a little bit, but she still didn't understand. And all her little friends' uh, mommies were much healthier than me, and she couldn't understand why dad had to always go to the school, parent teacher conference in between that time, and I couldn't and then she would be a little sad at school, that they would tell us. It was a lot for her. Most people that undergo pancreas transplantation also have kidney failure. It makes sense to solve both problems at once, and that means transplanting both the pancreas and the kidney at the same time. We have an excellent uh, team in all aspects at Montefiore. The one arm is the transplant surgeons, and then the other arm is the transplant nephrologist that takes care of the patients. I think that what is special about our center and our program is that it's very patient-centric. What I've heard from patients when they come here, they feel like they're being talked to like they're a real person. I think that is a great way of providing medicine. The benefit of kidney transplantation is that it prolongs life, but the other benefit is that it vastly improves your quality of life. Everything changes after transplantation. Daphne's blood sugars are under control now and her kidney function is excellent. It's a big, big change, big change. She's healthier. It's amazing the transformation of how she looked then, how she's getting around now. I thank God for Montefiore. We laugh more, we dance more and everything. When we laugh, it's like cut right from the bottom of the belly. We're loud now. <laughs> I feel great now, insulin free, I have a lot of energy, no more dialysis, life is grand, life is good.